Now, you've been, dis you've been studying with Elohim the idea of it's all me. And this idea that everything that you experience is a physicalization of the truth of you, the greater truth of you, the fullness of you, the essence of you, the whatever you want to call it of you that incorporates everything, not just who you are today, not just you in this body right now, but all of your incarnations, all of your non-earth lives, all of your in-between incarnation time, all of that. All of that, that complete package of you, which we're having a fun time calling your essence, the essence of you is currently physicalizing in this world. It's currently showing up as your surroundings, as your relationships, as your physical possessions, as the nature that you experience. All of those things are being shown to you as you so that you can know yourself more. It's an offering that you're making to the sensory apparatus that you contain. This is the interesting part to us, is that if you see a tree, you have a sensory apparatus built into your human form that allows you to interact with that tree. Touch, taste, smell, sight, sound. All of those things allow you to interact with the physicality of that tree. And as you become more and more aware of the fact that the tree is simply a physicalization of your essence, that you are then using the sensory apparatus that being on earth has given you to explore. You're exploring using your sensory apparatus, you. Not just touching your leg, but touching your essence that you are going to know more of because you're exploring it from this density, duality, 3D place that you are currently occupying. You're letting you know yourself more. Just as you will contemplate inside yourself now, you'll think about your inner world, your inner journey right now. This is another way to experience not just you, the personality self that we're addressing by name as we look around the room, not just the personality self that we know here, but the full essence of you that you have yet to get to know very much from the personality perspective. Many of you have said, I wish I could remember my non-earth lifetimes. I wish I could remember my other incarnations. I wish I could remember blah, 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 whatever you want to call it, my non-physical experiences. What we're telling you is that your physicalization in your world represents and reflects not only your journey as the personality self, but your journey elsewhere also. How does a redwood tree give you that insight? Isn't that cool that we're going to look at that? Why not? It's time. And the only reason we can spend time contemplating these ideas is because you're finally past the place where baggage and static are so fascinating to you that you'd rather think about them for the four millionth time than contemplate something brand new. When you finally say, I'm just not going to run the hamster wheel anymore, there's empty space. And in that empty space, once you get done thinking that peace is boring, and you go, wait, no, this is peace, this is cool, then what fills the time of peace? Where do, what, is, what do you do when you're in bliss? What do you experience when you're feeling that state? What you experience is the revelation and realization and recognition that the physicalizations are representational of all of you, not just the personality you. That's what you do when you get done doing the hamster wheel when you get done being run by adrenaline, when you get done doing the fear-based operating system, when you get done looking all over the world and imagining that it's happening to you, against you, and because you're somehow wrong or bad. That's what you do. That's how you fill your time. That's how you find the juicy. That's, that's, that's what you do. So you ask, okay, so go ahead. Tell me, how is that redwood tree telling me about my non-physical lifetimes? That's not our job. Our job is to have you come and say, guess what? 
I was out there contemplating that redwood tree and this is what I learned and then we help you unpack it. How inappropriate would it be for us to tell you, when you see a redwood tree, that's what you're seeing. Ugh. By the way, free will to tell us to shut up. We're, you're not going to tell me, Mr. Visionaries, that <laughs> you know what I see when I see a redwood tree. Of course, we'll have all kinds of stories about what Veronica experiences, and that'll probably help you too, but we're not going to tell you what you see. But we will help you unpack what you start to tease out of it. The journey isn't a journey of got to know it all. The journey is what am I seeing? What am I feeling? What am I exploring right now as I know this is me? This is me. This is me un unpacking, unfolding, unrolling, filling up. We used to always talk about insoling, right? Insoling the physical form. Now the physical form is represented by way more than just the personality body. And you're insoling more and more and more. So here's a question that you can answer, that we can help you with. Am I in resonance? Now, what does this word mean, resonance? What we mean by resonance is, are we on the same wavelength? Are we in the same vibration? Are we in the same moment? Do you make sense to me? Any of those words you like or five more, resonance. Am I in resonance with my physical surroundings? Am I in resonance with this relationship? Am I in resonance with this food that I'm going to eat? Am I in resonance with the vehicle I drive? Am I in resonance? This is why a lot of you have been cleaning out your cupboards and your drawers and your closets and your whatever you got. Because you're going, ooh, not in resonance with you anymore. Feeling into what that feels like for you to find that resonance space so that you're looking at your physical surroundings with new eyes. Making sure that you're up to date with the things that you're experiencing. It's important. It's important to know. It's important. So Elohim will have more on this, but that's our version of what Elohim's been teaching you. We wanted to kind of repeat what they were saying with a bit of different em emphasis because sometimes it just helps to hear it in a different voice. <laughs>